this poem is entitled Swagger. So speaking solely on the subject that stimulates my senses, as suggested by a special associate, I solicited a story about a sexy, shapeless, strange woman strutting her sensual size into a bar successfully striking the nerves of patrons who are slowly slipping into slumber but are now standing and sliding off bar stools to simply stare at the superficial siren. This self-adulating sex symbol knew the susceptibility of men who were squandered life savings for a short stint as her significant other. Simply stated, she shunned humility and solidified a suave swagger. That will go past the story last sentence and will not cease until sentences. Sitting on a bar stool, she surveyed the scene and swiftly searched for a sought after servant to spend money on this sinuous seducer to sip gin shipped by Seagrams. A sensibility stunted gentleman was subdued to supply such a request. Smile surfaced on his face, shifting from side to side. Her sarcastic sense of humor was a facade to shield the genuine view of her sadistic, sinister style. Narcissism framed her structure, supplemented with a smooth swagger. She swallowed shots until she staggered out of her seat to seek a male successor. Our subservient fellow was skeptical and did not figure out or speculate he was being supplanted and in short simple terms was being shut out. She switched to a strong stud to serve her needs and they slowly slid out the door into the shadows. Our sad fellow sat back in his bar stool and softly sobbed as a sequence of events sunk in and he realized he was just a warm up and was not the main selection. And to my associates who had summoned me to supply a non-Shakespearean story outside of sonnet form, my promise is to you. I will never fall prey to the swagger of the sanguinary shrew.